Diva's micro missiles is one of the most loosely used abilities in the game. By that, I mean most players don't use it to its full potential, usually just firing it off cooldown because they can. A maximum of 126 damage isn't much considering it's one of the most hardest abilities to aim. However, how many times do you miss getting a pick by just a few bars of health? In this video, we will go over the do's and don'ts of micro-missile usage. Using micro-missiles effectively can mean the difference between securing an elimination, which can lead to winning a team fight, and ultimately winning the match in the long run. The first tip is, don't randomly spam micro-missiles on distant targets that you have a low chance of hitting or can easily be healed up. The optimal distance to use your micro missiles is around 5 meters. You can use it during the poke phase of the fight, but if you think you will have a more effective use of it within 8 seconds, save it. Have a plan and purpose every time you use it. In this example, the missiles are wasted for little to no effect, and shortly thereafter, a junk rat who is a much better, closer target lives because micro missiles was on cooldown. Do use it when diving an enemy. Ideally, you want it to fire around the 5 meter mark. You want to also utilize the D.Va engagement combo for maximum effect, which I will quickly walk through now. The first step of the combo is to boost and primary fire into the target, and trying to aim near the head for maximum damage. During that time, you're also supposed to be charging up and firing your micro missiles. You want to start warming up your missiles around the 10 meter mark, and by the time you are within 5 meters, you should already be shooting out your missiles. Towards the end of your boosters, you should be able to boop your enemy back, and then melee them right after. The melee portion is crucial to this combo, whether or not you actually hit the target, since it will turn off your boosters. If you don't melee, you might find yourself boosting past the enemy and losing track of your target. I recommend you practice this third part in the practice range against bots to really get a feel for it. If you execute all of these steps in order, you will be able to do the combo that can deal a quick 200 damage and delete most squishy heroes. All that being said, don't feel the need to always use the boot melee combo at the expense of your aim and tracking. It's fine to cancel your boosters a little bit early if you think you will lose sight of your target by booping. Don't worry about aiming at the head with missiles. It does the same amount of damage regardless of a headshot. That being said, you should be still aiming at the head with your primary fire. When engaging targets on the high ground, don't preemptively use the missiles while moving up. Instead, you want to wind up the missiles right when you are about to hit the horizontal plane of the high ground. Don't use micro missiles to shield break during the initial 6v6 engagements unless you expect to have it off cooldown when the main fight comes or your composition is actually built to break shields compared with the enemy team comp. More often than not, you usually have better targets to save the missiles for. An exception to this is Winston Bubbles, which you should always break with micro missiles. Winston becomes a very easy and vulnerable target once his bubble is broken. Also in general, you want to use micro missiles for peeling or engaging big diving heroes like Winston, Ball, or D.Va. Because of their big hitbox, you'll usually be able to hit most if not all of your rockets. Do use micro missiles against smaller heroes if they are in effective range. Even if you don't hit them, it can often bait out cooldowns such as Recall, Deflect, or Translocator that will help your team eliminate them shortly thereafter. Do use missiles while defense matrixing static ulting enemy heroes that don't move such as Pharah, McCree, or Reaper. That being said, make sure you have enough matrix to protect yourself while doing so. Those were some quick fast fire tips that will hopefully help you get the most out of your D.Va micro missile usage. Big thanks to Spilo, a professional contenders coach for contributing to this guide. I've learned a lot from watching his weekly VOD reviews and other content, and you can find his Twitch channel and YouTube channel linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.